I'm going to share with you three tips on the one-handed backhand. The core rotation is the source of power. My arm is relaxed. I'm turning my body. It's not enough. A shoulder has to turn under the chin. Step forward. Heel to toy. As soon as I feel the back transfer come out, comes out, I turn my hip. Step turn. I do nothing with my arm. The core rotation sets it in motion. Play the racket in front of you. Put the hitting hand on top. I hold the bicycle handlebar this way. The tip of the racket is pointing towards the ceiling. I'm going with my body like I've shown you. It's not a sudden strenuous motion. I feel comfortable. I want to get the timing of this hip rotation down and let the racket fly. The core rotation is the source of power. Before the racket starts moving forward, you got to go all the way back. The racket faces the back fence in this phase of the stroke. You may have an old-school finish like P. Sampras does. Or you may have a take back like John McEnroy does straight back. I prefer a take back when the head of the racket is higher than the grip. Be that as it may, you have to get the racket in this slack position before you are swinging forward. It's one of the fundamentals of the one-handed backhand technique. We have to stay sideways at the moment of contact on the one-handed backhand. In order for this, when your racket is about to start moving forward, the offhand goes back. The offhand is on the throat of the racket, all the way down, and somewhere near the pocket, it goes back. The offhand acts as a counterbalance to your, to your hitting arm. It's one of the fundamentals of the one-handed backhand technique. So, the core rotation is the source of power on the one-handed backhand. Put the racket in this slot position before you start moving forward. The offhand goes back. You can do it.